Okay, guys, I'm going to start another pattern tonight. I'm going to wait for this to uh, maybe ping a couple of uh, subscribers before I get into it. <clears throat> but this is, I think, the third or fourth pattern that we've done live now. And I think I'm going to make this a thing uh, once or twice a week, depending if it's a pattern that takes two to or two different settings or sittings to... Uh, to create and then we'll do it in two settings uh, if not I'll just do it in one it'll just be one live video that week uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a different kind of pattern it is of course going to be this pattern if you can see it it's we're gonna make this into a pattern and I'm thinking I want to use obviously it's gonna be a scroll saw pattern since that's what I titled the video, but um, I want to try to make it not as detailed and somehow incorporate the uh, leaves here in some way. So I think instead of doing like we did last time and just creating a black and white um, where it blows out the black and leaves us with a general pattern that we can work off of, I think I'm just going to trace this one straight out, but... Um, you never know, things might change. So, uh, I think we're going to start in Inkscape and see what happens. I I am pretty sure that I want this to be a, uh, a landscape pattern. So, we'll switch that first. Um, hey, hey guys, see some of you in the chat there. Got uh, Crosscut creation, uh, Creations. What's good, Ryan? Um, everything's good today, actually. Um, it's a good day. Good day all around. And uh, I am horrible at speaking, apparently, Portuguese. But uh, hello in Portugal. Um, hello from Ohio. Glad to have you uh, along while we're doing this. Okay, so back to this, we're going to go into the preferences. Nope, I think I did that wrong. Let's go... Uh, document properties is what we want. And then we're going to switch this to landscape, which is right here. And then you can just X out of it. Bring this down. And that will be on an 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper and then just like always we're going to import and uh, I got it right here on the desktop so we'll import that embed it and then start to uh, resize it as with every well, as with most most programs the scroll wheel while you're holding control will let you zoom in and out I'm going to set the opacity so I can better set the where I have this plus we're going to probably set it down anyway there we go. And then in Inkscape, I'm pretty sure it's control. Yeah, hold control and drag from the corners to resize and keep the aspect ratio the same. So let's go there. And I think that gives us a rough idea where I want to start. So I, a lot of scroll saw projects that I do are framed. And I can kind of play off the frame. But I think I want to make this a separate thing where these get hung on the wall separately from each other. Maybe. Um, I guess it would look neat if it was framed in. But then again, I don't know if I want to do that. And just like anything, this is the decisions you have to make while you're doing this. I do know that I want the dove. I do know that I want it in the position it's in and doing exactly what it's doing. It looks like it's flying in. Um, but I'm not too sure how I want this to tie in with the, with the leaves. Well, for the sake of not holding the video up, let's go ahead and go ahead and start tracing this. So I will lock this layer. The opacity. Well, let me make the opacity just a little bit. Bring it down just a little bit. All 
right there. Okay, we'll lock that. We'll create a new layer, and this will be our trace layer. And then I'll pick my Bezier tool. We'll go and start tracing. And we don't want to get crazy. Simple. Simple uh, curves around all the edges. And we'll just follow all those curves. And we'll go back and clean those up um, shortly. So. What's up, Eloy? How is it down in uh, Hurricane Land so far? Seems like it's uh, getting pretty rough down there. That's what I was wondering. It seems like it's, uh, from what I've heard on the news and stuff, it seems like you guys are going to get hit really hard down there around Miami. Or anywhere down in the, well, most of Florida, from what I've, from what I've, uh, read and seen on TV and online and stuff. How long ago was it, Eloy, that, um, you guys had that really bad hurricane? And what was the name of it? I don't remember. I think it was... I think you told me it was like seven, eight years ago or something like that. can't remember. I know you said it was really, really bad. And they... I wondered if it was supposed to be worse this time around. I mean, it doesn't sound good either way, right? Andrew. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I remember the name of it now. Yeah. Yeah, and for those of you that can't see what's going on, um, let's shrink that down a little bit. There you go. 90, 92? Oh, wow, it was that long ago. I didn't realize it was not quite that long ago. And keep on keeping on over here on the pattern while the chat room talks. Um, if <clears throat> any of you watching haven't seen, I know Dan, um, Daniel Kiros, which would be Dan the Maker Man, had posted, and I know a few of the other guys have posted, of the auction that's going on on eBay to help raise some money for some relief or to help out with uh, what happened with Harvey down around Houston. Um... So I mean if you I mean if you can't help out by bidding or whatever, you could always share it around. I think I shared a link on our page. <clears throat> yeah, I shared a link on our page. Uh where you can check it out. Pretty cool. Uh there's uh some really cool maker items that are going on it. Or that are already on it for a bid. And uh looks like they're getting some bids on them, so you might be able to snag something pretty cool and help a good cause. No kidding, it's a Category 5 hurricane. Wow. And Harvey was, what, a Category 4? Yeah, that's crazy. So 
See, I'm glad we don't have stuff like that here in Ohio. That stuff spooks me. I know when we have tornadoes and stuff, that's enough for me. Alright, let's zoom out a little bit and see how we're looking. Okay, we're still on track. So, uh, what have the rest of you been up to? Besides Eloy fearing for his life. Yeah, game changer, but not in a good way, Eloy. <laughs> I mean, obviously you know that. That sounds... Yeah, it sounds horrific. It's not something I would want to... Definitely not something I would want to be involved with at all. I don't know how you guys deal with it. Like I said, just tornadoes and stuff around here are enough. Enough for... To scare me. And we really don't even get them. So while you guys are still watching the pattern coming along here, we are working on the dove that will hopefully be flying at or to some leaves that are on a tree branch. Uh, but why I got you here, I do want to remind you that the uh, horror prop challenge is approaching and the entries can start on that on October 1st um, if you see in the sidebar menu or side uh, sidebar of this video you can see it's been scrolling by um, you can submit that and there's a link uh, should be a link in the video description of this video if not you can go to waylightcreations.com and check out um, under the contest tab We'll have some more information about it. And there are some prizes involved and some bragging rights. And hopefully it'll just be a good time for everyone. Let's see what the chat has to say while I'm going along here. Uh, Crosscut says, I've been back to teaching, so shop time has been way down. Teaching, what do you, uh, what do you teach? I see so many things fly through these groups that I'm part of. I know we have, there's some other teachers in those groups, but I wasn't real sure what you do. You have to let me know there in the, in the chat. Okay, we're getting into some detail stuff here. Not detail, I guess, but small, small work here. And I think we might, yeah, I think we'll just group all this together. So we'll just cross, just keep following the claws, toenails, or I don't know what you would call them. Let's see. Fizz at, oh, let me pop this over. Crosscut said he teaches phys ed, math, religion, and health this year. So it must be a cyclical thing. You bounce around year to year or something like that. And I'm assuming you teach at a Catholic school? Not too many schools teach religion. Catholic, I know there's some uh, Christian schools around here that are just like non-denominational non -denominational that uh, do religion. So I'm curious about that. <clears throat> Say so we'll just follow the outline here. We'll come back and get the the inner, and uh, we'll just go ah. Get this click back on that. We'll come back and get that, and we'll not make that as fuzzy looking as what it actually is. Just kind of poof it, and then. Makes me sound really mainly to myself saying poof it. Poof it. Huh. 
Anyway, looks like we should be getting close. We're coming back up to the neck. So we'll round that back around. And that gives us the basic shape of the dove. So I think now, if we kill this layer, that'll show us the outline. We'll get off that. Okay, so that's pretty plain Jane looking, um, which we'll not do. So we'll have to go in and make that a little bit snazzier looking. And back to the chat. Crosscut says, yeah, private Catholic school. My degree is grades four to nine math and science, but where there's a need, <laughs> right? Seems like that'd be good grades to teach. It's before the kids get, oh, well, I guess ninth. Yeah. I was going to say before the kids start to get too mouthy and obnoxious, but I don't know. I'm not a teacher. I just, I'm just a parent. And I know that age range. <laughs> okay, so we'll click that layer back on. We'll zoom in. And I think we're going to get some... Obviously, we need the eye. So let's go ahead and do that. And I just usually just pick some points and go. And we'll come back in and round it later. Um, probably going to want some kind of a cut in here. So we'll just kind of do that. I don't know if I want to put in the shadows like that, but I do want to get the wing. And to do that, we'll come in a little bit from here. And we'll just follow that wing. We'll make it real easy and just cut it there. And then we'll probably want some of the feather to show through. Let's see how that looks first. Hide that. Let's see, I don't like that. It looks like it should be going down here. Yeah, I did that totally wrong. Which is weird because it almost looks like it should go that way. Anyway, we can click on this uh, edit nodes tool and just drag it down here. Make it follow a different curve. Okay, let's zoom out and see how that looks. It looks a lot better. At least to my untrained eye, it looks better. <clears throat> Fizz Ed K through eight. Fizz Ed K through eight sounds like it would be fun. Some of those kids would be fun to play. You know, that age would be fun to play with. Oh, I bet. I bet. Okay, let's see here. I got a little off track. Looking at something else. All right, let's pop this back open and go in here and detail these feet. And we'll get all these curves and stuff put in as soon as we get the rough outline done. So, back to the Bezier tool. We'll get that chopped out of there. And these can all be edited a little bit nicer later on. And some of these would be end up being really small cuts, so I think we're going to flub those a little bit so they're not so close. Um, let's see, we're going to want to add an accent line in here to split up the legs, I think. Let's see, does that make sense? Get an idea if we look at it. It kind of does. Um, we'll see. We'll leave it and then we'll see how it looks in the end. 
I want to get some lines in for the feathers, but I don't want to make them overly detailed, I don't think. Because that could maybe cause some problems down the road. I think if we just maybe do something like that. And like that. might be enough and I think we're gonna end up trying the black and white pattern also just to see which one turns out better because you never know and it doesn't take a whole lot of extra time so we'll get that starting to curve sorry if I'm mouth breathing into the microphone now it is you get kind of concentrating on something and start uh, zoning out and uh, I'll tell you what though it's nice to be able to do this and uh, talk a bit while I'm doing it it's kind of uh, therapeutic in its own right and we'll cut that down there because oftentimes I don't know if you, this is how you guys work but oftentimes I uh, talk to myself while I'm working because it is I don't know I can talk, talk myself through what I'm working on if that makes sense Instead of just, you know, being silent. Even, you know, talk through it in your head. Sometimes you talk through out loud. And uh, that may make you kind of weird. Maybe not. I don't know. Alright, so I think that will be good on the outline there. I don't want to do too much here. So that is a very, very simple pattern. And... It looks not so great, so we'll go in and clean it up and see what we can do to fix it. So control, holding control on the keyboard, double clicking each node will round it. It's a pretty easy thing to do. And then the same here, we can just go through and hold control and you can just uh, double click on these and they'll round them and then some obviously some things you don't want rounded like those and there's sometimes there's some things you can do to speed it up like for example I will highlight all of these and we will curve all of those right here and auto smooths them at least it should but it didn't so let's try again let's select them all there we go I had to highlight we're gonna auto smooth everything and then we'll just go back in and sharpen up the lines because usually there's less sharp lines than there are um, rounded lines it's like a lot of those are rounded like that should be rounded but it didn't um, none of those rounded. So round those. And man, I missed a lot of these. I thought it would have grabbed them. Uh, we can highlight and smooth. Yeah, that worked all right. Smooth that. Oh, they moved that, but I think that's all right. Let's see if we can select all those. Nope. Hold on a second. Select all. Select all. There we go. Perfect. Feet are probably a different story. We're going to need to point those and that. And up here, I'm just uh. This no, this uh, option here is make selected nodes um, into a corner, and it'll point that. We can do that here. 
There's got to be a shortcut for this, but I'm not 100% sure what it is. It would probably save a lot of time if I knew that. And we'll bring that up here. We'll curve those. Control, double click. Okay, so that should be... Let's bring that down. Do we want that pointed? Yeah, we want that pointed. Okay, so let's see the big picture here and see what it looks like. Funky down there. Funky cold Medina. Anyway. Um, so, would it work as a scroll saw pattern? Sure. Does it look good as a scroll saw pattern? Not. Not really. So, let's try black and whiting it. And we'll do that. We'll just open a new one. Simple enough. And I'm not going to change the document settings for this. I'm just going to pop it in for the sake of getting it done quickly. Um, since we have about five minutes left, I like to stream these for about a half hour. So I will embed it. But I import it. Pick it, open, embed, and we're just going to test it to see if it if it works. We'll make it smaller so it doesn't take as long. All right, let's get in here. We'll select, and then we're going to go trace bitmap, and that pops open a window, but it popped it open on the other screen for some idiotic reason. And this will give us a couple options, and we can play with those. We'll try brightness first, and we can update it. And we see, I mean, you can invert it. You can see that's not really working. We can adjust the threshold. Um, maybe to see if that helps. Let's invert it again. Just keep updating it, playing with it till you find what will work. And very well could be that the brightness cutoff won't work. There, it's, we're kind of get starting to get something. But is it, is it enough? to make a pattern um, not really so let's try edge detection we'll update it and we can again invert and bump up thresholds could be the wrong way let's try the other way mm, not really let's try color quantization um, let's try lowering that Inverting it. Nope. Let's raise it. And yeah, I'm not digging that either. Let's try these. See what these do. Nope. That's kind of neat. Um, not really what we're looking for, but still neat nonetheless. Okay, try an old school trick now. We're going to pop open paint.net. We'll just open the image. Because I really want this image to be a scroll saw pattern so I can, you know, mess around with it till I get what I want. And sometimes uh, it takes, takes a while. Now, I do have some different um, extensions in here that some of you may not have and you can get those gosh where did I pick these up at um, there if you can see it, it says plugin is the Vander Martin um, so if you want to search that um, for paint.net plugins <coughs> that might be the way to go yeah it's that Vander Martin uh, Chris Vander Martin so look that up anyway um, I'm going to just be playing with basic things, which are black and white, brightness and contrast, and levels. That's the three main ones that I usually mess with. So we're going to tinker with that for just a few minutes, and then I'll pick this back up Thursday with whatever we have left. And we'll have a, a scroll saw pattern by then, hopefully. But let's go black and white first, just to get those no, monotone colors, monotone shades, hues, I don't know. 
Um, and then we're going to go brightness contrast and play with those. Now the thing is, this is so light in here. I think this is where we're going to have the problem. Although that doesn't look too shabby. So if we could maybe right in there. Hmm. the black and alpha invert it and that might be on to something let's try that a new layer and drop it down and we'll color it white the paint bucket now that is something kind of unique I'm gonna save that um, to my desktop we'll call that dove uh, a one and I just want to save that just for because I kind of want to play around with it I think that's kind of neat how that turned out I don't know how much it would do for over here but it definitely gives us a unique uh, unique look here if we could get that eye black and the beak black that would help too so I saved that already as a paint.net file. Um, nobody wanted that back. All right, let's try the levels now. We'll try a new way to make the pattern. Let's see. so hard with these light colors. Let's try that. And the uh, magic wand tool. Grab that. I don't think we want to go quite that far. Let's just see what happens. We'll delete that. And let's try the levels again. Darken that up. Okay, I'm thinking what's going to work, and we'll pick this back up, like I said, Thursday is going to be a combination of paint.net and um, Inkscape, because I'm thinking this is going to help us get the kind of pattern we want with Inkscape, with the dark tracing lines. Um, I think that will really help our cause here. So I'll bring it back in Thursday, hopefully Thursday, same time, 9.30 Eastern Standard right here on our channel. Um, but uh, yeah, it'll we'll take this pattern from paint.net, which I saved. Let me make sure I saved it. Files, save as, dove one, save, yes. So that's saved. Um, we won't mess with this garbage. Um, but we will pick it back up um, uh, and throw it back into Inkscape and get those dark lines traced. And I think I think we'll be able to get something done with these leaves too. So um, that shouldn't be an issue. Maybe we'll just uh, do some choppy cutting and who knows might even end up framing in but hopefully 
in the next episode we'll get it uh we'll get it all figured out so uh you guys take care i see eloy's out but he's tired from all the nervousness that's going on down there but uh i hope you guys enjoyed watching this um if you can think of anything that might uh make these videos better these live streams better let me know and uh uh you uh can just help us make them better um so i'll be back in the next episode you might get to see my ugly mug in the next one but for now uh take care and we'll see you in the next video